Hey there, Collingswood. Time for a little bit of an update uh, from inside the Collingswood Arms. Um, uh, the luck of the Irish have us uh, finally accomplishing something we've been trying for a long time to get done. Uh, On-site vaccinations getting done of our seniors here at the Collingswood Arms. Uh, I see Lewandowski finally showed up. There you go. But we finally have um, the on-site vaccinations going on. Uh, really thanks to Rite Aid. Uh, Rite Aid uh, contacted us. They, their Oakland store had gotten a number of uh, vaccines delivered and they uh, help us here on a regular basis with flu shots and things like that. But they um, they came over and coordinated. We set it all up here and, and we're able to, to um, not have people drive out for folks that can't drive. Um, th this is, uh, we're finally getting the vaccine set up. So one great St. Patrick's Day, okay? Uh, we're just thrilled as can be and, um, and really happy we're finally getting this done. Hopefully as J&J's vaccine gets out more, we'll be able to do more on-site vaccinations uh, to try to get everybody in a more convenient spot. We'll use either the community center or Scottish Rite once the county gets ramped up with the vaccine supply and we'll, uh, we'll probably be hosting a number of, um, of those days where you can get on and get on site. So while I have you all, this is simply just to, was to let you know this is going on and uh, hope, uh, hope it adds to your St. Patrick's Clee as, as much as uh, your friends and family do today. I'll tell you a couple of things real quick. Uh, the municipal budget's been introduced. Uh, the public hearing on the municipal budget is at our meeting. It's April 5, 6. It's the first Monday in April. Uh, it's virtual, so you can stop at the borough website, take a look. Um, Town Crier should be out this week. Um, should be out by the 20, it'd be the 19th, 20th, or maybe it'll run to the 22nd when it's delivered. Uh, there's some information in there about it. it gives you a little breakdown about where the money comes from, how the money's getting spent. Uh, tries to answer some questions that have been floating out there. The average increase on a home, I think the average home is assessed at roughly $230,000. And the, uh, there is an increase. Um, the average increase is $47 for the year. Um, we're actually quite pleased with that budget given the loss of revenues that we've had as a result of this pandemic last year and the additional cost that we've had. So we're looking forward to that. Um, we're also very happy under this new CARES Act. Uh, the Collingswood uh, schools are going to get a big chunk of money, a million nine. The Collingswood, the borough is going to get a million three. Ours is going to be spread out over the next few years. The schools are going to be getting those them theirs in one shot. I can tell you I've been having a number of conversations with the schools, trying to coordinate, help, assist, be support to them uh, as they're working through plans um, toward a, a reopening of schools. Uh, if things change with the CDC, with the three feet rule, you'll probably see some changes in that. And we're working with that. There you go. Happiness. Good stuff today. Good stuff. Um, I'm usually at a pub and hearing people cheer for different reasons, but this is a good one. This is a pretty good one. Um, so um, we've been working with the schools. Uh, the budget is at the 47 number. And, um, and the last thing I'll let you know is coming up, I think it's next week, is when you're going to be able to go online to book uh, the Collingswood cash, uh, free cash, the bonus cash again. We're doing another round of that uh, to try to help our businesses on Haddon Avenue. Make sure you go take advantage of that. Get some free money. It's always a popular seller. Um, and that's it. Quick one today. Um, really just spurred on by, uh, by lots of great, fun, good news. Uh, be safe. Wear a mask. Um, we'll catch up to you all. Thanks.